How much do you think you made your entire career? That's about, about 200 something million. Probably around five to seven million. A good 15, 20 million dollars. I was making like 18 grand a week. But my money went like that. Now that's a problem. Tell me a little bit more about your house. I paid for it in cash. It cost me 20 million. I just fell into a deep pit of depression where it was, it was so bad I couldn't get out of bed. I'm Alex Rodriguez. I've learned how to overcome adversity. Now that I'm retired from baseball, I want to give back by helping ex-athletes and entertainers get back on their feet. This is back in the game. Let me get a sense of where you're at financially. Any money in savings? I would have to look. I don't really look at my bank account. When was the last time you actually looked at your bank account? 2000 and... <laughs> How did you end up an idol? I auditioned a couple times, and the next thing I knew, I was, I was on plane. Maybe I got a little bit of a big head, and I think I pissed some people off. I just announced that I was quitting. Wow. By walking away from a show, does that automatically put you in a blacklist? Yes. All of a sudden, my manager never returned another call of mine. And then I went three years without working. So you left Baywatch after two years? After the first season, I was like, I signed up for the wrong show. Now you're this Baywatch bimbo. And I was like, I'm a what? How much are you making at this point? I, on Baywatch, I probably, you know, thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 every four days. You burn through money fast. I liked real estate, big fancy cars. I had to file bankruptcy. So walk me through $35 million. What happens to that $35 million? Break that down for me. I didn't know what I was doing and I just trusted people. Man, everybody was just stealing, man. They just stealing, stealing. It seems like you trusted the wrong people. Well, yeah. Hi, Melissa. Hi, how are you? Good, how's it going? I made the decision to sell my BMW convertible and uh, try Uber driving. I don't really have a lot of income right now. I'm living on my savings. Now it's starting to take a toll on me. What are some of the things you're doing today for income? I'm a boxing promoter. My part was just to show up. And the fact of doing this for a whole year, when no money been made. I was on top of the world. I had the biggest swim contract. And after 2016 happened, immediately everyone dropped me. We're gonna say bye bye to the house one more time. Do you feel like you've hit rock bottom? Oh, well, I looked a long time ago. Drank too much, gambled too much, drugs. One mistake changed my entire life. I went from hero to zero. Who handles your money? Uh, his name is George. Let's see the George thing. In a year or two, uh -huh. you're out of money. But that's not my fault. I can't be faulted for that, right? I mean, which part is your fault? It's really about figuring out what is like your passion, what makes you happy. You know, I want to put in a lot of hard work for something that's going to hopefully be a big payoff. <sighs> Ryan, the toughest days are behind you. And that emotion that I'm seeing is what it takes for you to be a champion. It is hard to fall down. I'm here to put a system around you that's gonna help you reach your goals. I called Marcus to help me come up with an idea to help fit Evander's brand and make a good business out of it. We're gonna just meet and greet with people. We're gonna have some fun, you and me. What? Meet with the people? Yeah, we're gonna talk to people. The real deal bar, the real deal drink, the real deal powder. What's in it? The real deal. That's right. What is it that you're doing that you're passionate about? Is there a way that we can find something for you to do for a living? I want to be a comedic actor. I was a finance major in college. I was a terrible student. I thought a 401k was a really long race. <laughs> you have the greatest gift that any entrepreneur would want, which is the ability to sell a dream. That's why I think you'd be an incredible, incredible real estate agent. Carl Gambino is one of the most successful real estate agents, not only in LA, but in all of California. I told you this guy's got a lot of talent. Give me some of your feedback and some of the things where he can actually tweak and improve. Less is more. Like, you don't have to feel like you have to always talk. Did a lot of soul searching, I guess you can say. Um, it was one of the darkest moments in my life. And. Excuse and me, may I ask you a question? Why did you lie? Why did I lie? Why, in, in Rio, why did you lie? 
It's devastating. The general population has such a negative thought about me. I'm about to get really emotional now. I want you to take control, ask more questions, be proactive. And I kind of feel that everything is too late. So the biggest thing you need is cash flow. Right. You need money coming in. Do you ever see yourself getting inside that truck and, and grinding? I see myself training somebody to get in there and do it. How much did you make off the last fight? Nothing. There is no CFO, there is no CTO, and you want Evander to move forward with this company. High risk, high rewards. Let me tell you about high risk, high rewards. Evander's not doing that anymore. The stand-up's done right now. It sucks, dude. If you don't have the grit and the persistence to come back, then you're not going to come back. I don't think I see myself driving a monster. I don't see you driving a monster yeah. either. I do like it, but I'm a convertible girl. This is the Bentley? Yeah. You have to take control of your financial life. I want to provide for my family. Hi, Nicole. Alex here. Been trying to get a hold of you for uh, the last few days. Really disappointed that you know things have gone down the way they have. I went out on a limb for you, and you're out here playing golf. You're wasting my time. I did. I didn't know what I was water here. It's not my fault. Not for the excuses. It's go time. I still feel like I have something to accomplish in this industry. I have a lot of, like, ideas. I'm just trying to fight my way back up to the top again. You've worked too hard. You've taken too many damn punches to have people come take advantage of you. You do not have to be defined by those mistakes. How you come back matters, too. And that's going to be your second act.